Lights, camera, action. Now you're recording. Now let's make sure. Let's make sure it's straight. What's going on, guys? Like us out here with another vlog, taking over Memphis Dark Side's channel. This right here is part two of the rolling tripod dollar. I'm gonna have Slido side helping me out here. Thanks to him for. You know, helping me out with this right here. I want y'all, dudes. I want, I want y'all to go subscribe to him. I'll be sure to leave his link down in the description below. I appreciate that. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, I want him to, you know, get on the board. You want me to give like a little background of what my channel is about? Yeah, go ahead and tell me what you're channel about. So, uh, what I do is uh, I make uh, let's plays. You know, uh, I, I, I play through uh, games and I try my best to unedit them because I know a lot of people don't like edited let's plays. They like to experience the whole uh, experience. It, you know what I'm saying? I do vlogs, unboxings, how to's, stuff like that. I haven't done many of them. But that's what I'm trying to do. I just started doing videos full time a couple weeks ago when I got back into Tennessee. So, yeah, that's that's basically what I do. I'm 20 year. I'm just a 20 year old vlogger trying to make entertainment for people. So, which I really appreciate this guy for helping me out a lot. I mean, uh, it's not a lot to y'all or him probably, but I was at like 30, 40 something subscribers when I first started uh, making videos full time a couple weeks ago and I bumped up to 62 now. My channel has over a thousand views in general. So it's all because of this man here. I, I leave his link down in the description below where y'all go check out his channel. But yeah, I'm gonna um, be doing this video right here on the rolling tripod dolly. I'm gonna make this thing outstanding. But yeah, right now what I got is this here. And I just noticed a few moments ago as we was uh filming here i got a lock nut on this here so to keep this lock nut from coming um or trying to back off what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take another nut is i'm gonna uh, put a nut behind here to keep this right here from backing off and i may put like not perma lock but i use like uh, I forget the other name of the, um, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's get into this video and let's do it. So what I came up with here, uh, I got a 916 uh, wrench here. I'm probably not gonna use it, obviously not. You and I got, it, I got um, a nut two washers and a bolt, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, hold this right here. I'm gonna take that right there. I'm gonna put the washer on. I'm gonna do that like that. <clears throat> we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the washer down here at the bottom like that. Y'all see that? All right. So now I'm gonna take a nut here, thread it on there like so. I got it. So now what I need to do is I need to grab um, a ratchet and I need to grab a wrench. Well, yeah, we can, yeah, we can go ahead and test it out right now. <laughs> How fucking ghetto is this shit of me? <laughs> but yeah, I wish I had like a longer wrench um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's fucking gonna be, you know, pretty badass once, you know, I get everything completed. So, uh, yeah, 
let me see if I can find a bigger wrench and all that. Uh, I may, I may just go ahead. I may just use this one. I don't know, but anyway, I may go ahead. And I may put some uh, Loctite on here. But anyway, yeah, uh, um, this all this right here be adjustable and all that. So I bring it back. All right. So uh, instead of using the wrench, what I'm gonna have to do is, is I'm gonna use um, this right here. And it's going to go something like that right there. And this right here would be my handle. And I got some insulation one I'm going to put around this here. And yeah, I mean, so I'm going to take the old Dremel. Um, right now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to hack this on off. So let's go ahead and let's do it. Smell that? Oh, shit. What? It got on my arm. That shit. <laughs> Was it hot? Yeah. <laughs> All what right. the fuck are you doing out here, Red Bull? Alright. So now I'm about to show y'all uh, what I done off cam. Um, I cut this the wrong length at first, but anyway, here's what I come up with: is this right here? I had to cut a notch out right here because um, the way that the bolt sticks out right here. All right, so when I go to put it on, once I put it on like this, it has to go like that there. Get y'all a close up of that. See that there? All right, so now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna proceed on and we're going to uh, continue with this here video. So I got a washer and a nut. <clears throat> Quickest thing I could find at the moment. So hopefully I can use this washer and this nut. Now what I need to do is I need to tighten up the nut that I just put right down here. So let's go ahead and let's do that. All right, so now what I need to do first off, I need to take my pliers and I need to do this like this. All right, so right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this Loctite. It's a thread locker, as you can see here. And I'm gonna put on, um, I'm gonna put on, uh, threads real quick so I'm putting the nut on here and what I'm going to do is is I'm going to um, take with the ratchet here all right I think that's like that and then on the nut here I'm going to crank down on it and that's that now let's see how this here articulates. Uh, let me try to, let me give it just a little bit of that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna put this on here. See how it, it squizzed down the little uh, plastic there a little bit. And right back over here, right there at the top, uh, right here, I may have to notch out a little bit more of uh, that plastic 
so this bolt will go all the way through. All right, right here, uh, I got a piece of insulation foam. I had to get my razor here. I just throw it right up there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, piece of foam here and hopefully this right here works out. All right, so what I'm gonna have to do here is, is I'm gonna have to cut it because if not, I'm gonna have a, see how it's sticking out? I'm gonna have to cut that. So we got that. And I'm probably gonna have to put some tape or something on here to uh, get it to stick. Or I, I come up with something. And yes, I'm gonna have to work with this uh, articulating uh, arm, if you would. That's what I'm gonna call it for now. I'm gonna leave this like this here for now. I will go back and I will fix it, but I need to figure out a way to, uh, you know, mount my camcorders. Obviously it's gonna go right here on the front. What I'm probably gonna have to wind up doing is is slicing this here off. Here's what I come up with. I had to come over here to my table my workshop table obviously and I had to um, use these clamps here and clamp this here down now what I'm going to try to do is I'm pretty sure this table is going to shake like hell because I'm going to have to um, hammer this here down All right, I'm going to have to go uh, old school here freehand so here's what I'm going to do so we're going to give it some wax so be alert noise alert so turn down your volume let's give it a whack right here uh and you see right here look right there see that right there that needs to be bent also all right i'm gonna remove these clamps here now oh i need to untighten hmm looks better i mean what do you say Looks a lot better, better than what it did. A whole lot better. All right, uh, so maybe y'all can get an idea of what that looks like. As far as how that looks. As far as how straight it is. Let me do it like that. If you hear anything in the background, <laughs> That's my laptop fan. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that to loosen this lock nut up just a smidgen. Now what I need to do is I need to grab my lock tight again. Just put Something like that on there. Hey, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, I'm just trying to play with it a little bit to make sure that uh, this here is going to be okay. I guess now let's go ahead and let's take, need to figure out what, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was having to check, make sure I got the right uh, socket. All right, so now what I need to do, I need to grab the nut and the washer. I mean, y'all laughing at me because I messed up. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm going to have to uh, do some fine tuning 
to this here. Yeah, I'm looking at this uh, bolt here to see what's uh, going on. Let me grab uh, another wrench here. Getting up. All right, now, ladies and gents, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Again, it's gonna need some tweaks, some tuning, and all that. Um, now, as far as it, as far as in the uh, um, the wheels and all that, it's all good. I mean, it's fine. Uh, floor is a little bit dirty, but you know, I mean, it's a it's a workshop garage. It rolls smooth and all that. Didn't have to pay for the, none of this stuff. All this stuff here was free. Uh, yeah, I did have to buy some nuts and bolts, washers, all that. But uh, yeah, give y'all like a little tour of it real quick. This right here is again from an old uh, chair. Right over here, this right here will be hacked off because of this wing nut right here. This whole thing right here is aluminum for the exceptions of this here. This right here is like iron or steel or something like that. So, yeah. Check her out. You will never see nothing like this on YouTube again. Oh, yeah. I wanted to showcase my uh, LED lights and my spotlight here real quick. I'll leave a link down in the description below. We can get these bad boys here. True LED, baby. I also leave the unboxing down in the description below. This is truly by yours, Mr. Wazilla. So, anyway, that's going to wrap it up by 10 o'clock. Hopefully, y'all enjoy this video. So, stay tuned for this right here is part two. Stay tuned for part three. I'm out of here. Peace.